This painting, which we can see here, is made by Thomas Cole, who was one of the most respected person and leader of Hudson River School of Landscape Painters. This school is not an actual school, but is a group of paint landscape painters from New York. Thomas Cole, who is credited with founding American landscape painting, was not originally from the United States, but was instead born in Great Britain, where he lived for 17 years. This painting, which is known as the Oxbow, shows a view from Mount Holyoke, Northampton, which is in Massachusetts, and this is a view of a well-known unusual natural scene, a place where Connecticut River bends back on itself. Here, we can clearly see that Cole has used diagonal line from upper left corner to the lower right corner. On the left side of the painting, we can see landscape which has been ravaged by a storm. We can see huge trees which are broken due to the storm and this shows the Herculean power of nature. Here, we see birds that seem to be frantic and if we look closely, we can even see a lightning bolt at the extreme left of the painting. So we have here what art critics refer to as the sublime, an image of nature created by God which is untouched by man and is wild, unruly and untamed. On a closer look on the bottom center of the painting, we can see the self-portrait of the artist himself and he is looking at us. Slightly right, we can see his supplies, his umbrella, which most probably protected him during the storm. And we can also see his portfolio with his name written on it. This not only serves as his signature on the painting, but also as his tombstone. The left side of painting is sublime. And on the right side, we can observe a peaceful pastoral landscape that humans have transformed according to their will. The land, which was once disorderly and wild, has been tamed and transformed into a place to settle and build their homes with cultivated plots of land and place to graze their livestock. We can also see smoke coming out of the chimneys from the houses and the boats or ferries going across the river. Some people are starting their journeys while others have reached their destination. The storm is passing and the sun is coming out and we get a sense that this settling of land is something which is approved by the God. When we look at both the sides of painting together where the right side is viewed to the east and left side which is the view to the west of America, we can clearly see that it portrays the ideology of manifest destination, destiny, that is Americans were meant to tame this landscape. The Louisiana Purchase of 1804 doubled the size of United States. And it was believed that it is the divine obligation of Americans to settle in this westward territory. The change is destined to happen and is shown to positively alter the land. When we look closely to the hill in the center, we can see some letters on it. When looked from above and in reverse, which is from God's point of view, they seem to read from Hebrew the word Shaddai, which means Almighty. And this refers to the idea that this is a God's plan. 